responding and coming very nice and quietly. And then our respected team leaders go and fetch our books. And then they tell us what pages we have to do today. And then Ms. Ru Ms. Roti kindly gives us these post-its that she puts in our books so that we know where our corrections are. And then when you start working, what's the first thing you do? Um, the first thing we do is we do our corrections and then we do our pages for the day. Okay, thank you, Noah. Right, we're gonna I'm going to start with group one today. So group one, could you please come up? Right, so we're going to start out with that session for the day. I want you to look at the number 425. Who can tell me, what is 10% of 425? Maloney. Um, normally you take the zero off, but there's no zero, so you move the decimal place one up. Okay, so what is 10% of 425? Uh, 42,5. Why did you move the decimal one place to the left? Uh, because it is getting us one tenth smaller. Excellent. And if we know what 10% of 425 is, can we easily work out what 20% is? Hannah? 85. How did you get to 85, Hannah? Because 10% doubled is 20%, so 42,5 doubled is 85. <coughs> Good. And if we know what 20% is, can we easily work out what 40% is? Noah? Um, I doubled, so 20 doubled is 40. Good. So 20 I doubled 85, so it could be 170. Good job. And if we know what 40% is, can we easily work out what 80% is? Harris? You just double um, 170, which is 340, which double 40 is 80. Excellent. And let's go back a step. If we know what 10% is, can we work out what 5% of the number 425 is? Yes, John. Yes, because 10% of is 5. Excellent. So you halve the 10%, which is 42,5. Good. So you'd get to 21,25. Good. How did you get to 21,25? Well, I first halved the 42 to get to 21, and I know that half of a half is a quarter. Excellent. So, and a quarter in decimal place, well, as a decimal, is 0,25. Good. And if we know 5% and we know 20%, can we easily work out what 25% is equal to? Yes. So you'll take the 5 and the 20 and you add them together. Good. So that'll be 106,25. Excellent. And if we know 25%, can we easily work out what 50% is? Yes. Uh, so 50%. Uh, so uh, 25 double would be 50%. Good. Which means you also have to double 106,25. Good. Which would be 212,5. Was there another way that we could have yes. easily have worked out what 50% of the number 425 is? Maloney. Um, I plus 10% and 40%. Okay. So, plus 42.5 to 117. Yep. Which equals 212.5. Good. Is there another way we could have worked out 50% easily? Yes, Tom. So, 50% is a half of Excellent. Um, 100%, so, so you can half 425, and half of 400 is 200, half of 20 is 10, and half of 5 is 2,5. Excellent, if you have 210, 12,5. Brilliant, well done. Great sevens, how could we easily work out what 90% of the number 425 is? Jar? Um, you could say 80 plus 10. Good. So you'd say 340 plus 42,5, so you'd get 382,5. Good. Has anybody got a different way of working out what 90% of 425 is? Amy? Um, you could minus 10% from 425. Why are you minusing 10% from 425? Because 425 is 100, and 100 minus 10 equals 90%. Excellent. So would you get to the same answer? Yes, 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 of course. Has anybody else got a different way of working out what? Yes? Uh, you can plus 40 and 50. Good. Okay. 
Um, okay, well that brings us to the end of our mental math session for today. Can I ask you to please open your books so we can get into the discussion part of our session to page 7. Okay, guys, um, I'd like you to open your books to page 7. And you've all been working on page 7 which focuses on percentages. And I was watching at your different ways of turning a mark into percent which I found extremely interesting. So I'd like to have a discussion on question five, which says Laurent obtained the following marks for her June tests. And I want us to focus on the science mark, which was a mark of 45 out of 75. First of all, what is a percent? What is a percent? Something out of 100. It's something out of 100. So if we have a look at this mark of 45 out of 75, how can we get that mark to something out of 100? Anybody want to give it a go? Maloney, you had a very interesting way of turning this mark into a percent. Would you like to come and share with us? Okay. Um, I could see straight away I wanted to get 70, 75 to 50, so I can double it to get to 100. So 50 is two thirds of 75, so I took a third off of 75, which is 25, so it got to be 50. And then I took one third of 45, which is 50, which got me to 30. And I doubled it then, so it got me 16 of 100. Excellent way of doing it, Maloney. Did any of you do it that way? No. Do you understand what Maloney's done over here? Yes. Okay. I think, Hannah, you had a very interesting way of getting your mark into a percent. Would you like to come and share okay. your way with us? I went... I doubled it first because I knew 75 times 4 goes into 300, so I can divide it into 100. So I did the same to the top which equals 180. Then from there, I divided it by 3 to get it over 100, which equals 60 <coughs> over 100. Hannah, when you converted it to a mark out of 300, did you change the value of this, this fraction? Have you changed the value? No. No, you haven't. You've just found an equivalent fraction, haven't you? And you found a number that works well with 100. Good, very well done. Um, Amy, you had a very interesting way of converting this mark into percent. Can you come and show us what you did? Thank you. Um, so I went 45 over 75, and I divided it both by 15 which gave me 3 over 5. Then I times the top by 20 and times the bottom by 20 equals 60 over 100, which was 60 cent. Amy, have you changed the value of this fraction by dividing um, the numerator and denominator by 15? No. What have you done? You've just Made yeah, simplified it, haven't you? Very good. And you found a nice easy number that works well with 100. All you had to do was multiply it by 20. Very good. Um, grade sevens, I want you to pick up your calculators now. And I want you to show me on your calculators how you would convert the mark of 45 out of 75 into a percent. Can you see? Very good. Who would like to explain why they did what they did? John, would you mind explaining to us? Um, I know that this line over here between the numerator and denominator means divide. Okay. And then, um, so I divided four, the 45 by 75, which gave me 0,6. Good. And then I knew that 
when you're putting it into a percent, you need to find a number. Excellent. And so, I, and I know that of is time, so I times it by 100, which corresponds to 60%. Very good. Do you all understand his reasoning? So do you say, do you see that with this in particular and any others, there's always lots of different ways of, of, of getting it to this. and there's a lot of explanation in it so I can understand. Thank you. Pamela, would you like to tell us? Well, when I started in grade 6, numbers, um, number sense was very hard for me, then I started understanding it, and now I can really understand it now in grade 7. Good. Thank Why do you enjoy number sense, maths? I like maths because um, it's... Well, I like number sense because when it doesn't tell you what to do, you can figure out what how different ways and when and when we work as a group then it helps me because I can hear other people's different ways of working out sums and then I can use those different ways. Cool, thank you. Noah, can you tell us why you like number sense? Um, I really like number sense because it teaches me different ways to work out sums and especially problem solving and I really enjoy problem solving. Thank you. Thank you, Grade 7. Time is up. Our team leaders, please collect books and you can go to your next group.